So let's read some energy. I have Nina here, who's so cuddly. So cuddly. Good girl. Okay, let's read some energy. Ancestors of the Highest White Light, what is the message? Good girl, I love you. Good girl. What's the message, Ancestors of the Highest White Light? Okay, somebody needs to open up their heart with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position and or somebody has opened up their heart. I also saw the Two of Wands in the reverse position, so that's like somebody's coming home. So I feel like somebody's coming home to their heart center. So that's fantastic. Gotta love that. Uh, the moon in the reverse position, so there may have been some... Okay, I get it. All right, there may have been some... Okay. Five of Wands. I also had the Dark Empath card come out. Okay, there may have been some breadcrumbing going on. Somebody is jealous of you because you are a star, baby. So we're trying to keep you in a cycle. What's behind the star card here? The Magician or the World card in the... Yeah, somebody was trying to manifest against you. Your wishes and whatever... It, you're so divine, though. Whoever you are, you're so divine. Like, it's not going to happen. Like, whatever they're wishing for, it's not going to happen. It may have been something that you've been trying to get off the ground for a while. It may even be related to love yes a higher level of commitment and or it could just be basically your commitment to god like somebody was trying to and i think that god is watching you too um but it's like yeah okay yeah so you may have even separated from um you may have kind of separated it's something renewed your faith and it helped you open up your heart and recenter and come back home. Somebody's coming back home. And, and in that, somebody may be coming back in and home for a higher level of commitment as well. Whoever you are, you have a soft strength. You're very emotionally grounded as well. It's almost like, I feel like you went through a, you went through, man, I'm seeing somebody like went through some like karma. It's not even a karma though. It's not even karma. It's like you had to experience something or somebody put you through something and you experienced it. It's like, yeah, it's like somebody put you on a journey or like you were on a journey and it's kind of like you just, you kind of knew what was going on, but you kind of, it was just kind of, I don't know, like I'm hearing this is such a waste of my time. <laughs> So it's kind of like you were fully present throughout whatever this this situation was, whatever happened to you. You might also have a secret admirer, um, but and or you might have an emotional. Uh, somebody might be coming in with an emotional message, some a, a declaration of love or something like that. So I don't know. Maybe it, maybe you found yourself, your heart center, and and now the the your divine counterpart who was mirroring you, and there was some sort of separation, is now. Uh, you know, aligning with their heart as well and, and aligning with your heart too. Um, cause like somebody's ready now, like you're ready now, either this could be you or your person, just take what resonates, but, um, what else spirit? And I also feel like somebody, yeah, but somebody found God too. It's like, or, you know, you found yourself again. You, you aligned with your heart center again. You found your God, your goddess. What else, Spirit? Ancestors of the Highest White Light. What is the message? Nina over here. Good girl. What else, Spirit? Ancestors. Anything else? Mm hmm. Yeah, somebody really has a soft strength. I feel like you'd never really realize this either. And it's like with the Seven of Swords here in the reverse position, it's like you're turning over a new leaf. It's like I'm hearing, like, and you could be male or female, but it's almost like I'm hearing, like, yeah, I'm a bad bitch. Like, and I'm not. I'm not going to let anybody ever make me feel like I'm not a bad bitch anymore because I survived this. I witnessed this. I went through this. I was present for this. I didn't dissociate. I observed all of it. I, I, I understand all of it and I'm a bad fucking, I'm a bad mamma jamma. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. Like that's whoever you are. You're, you're, you're a fucking force to be reckoned with. That's for sure. A silent strength. Yeah. Somebody was very quiet. I hear somebody only spoke when they needed to. I'm seeing the seven of wands. So that's, uh, pick your battles wisely. So you, you pick your battles wisely. Yeah. There was some sort of karmic influence that was trying to keep you in an illusion, trying to keep you in an illusion of a lack mentality and that you're not a fucking bad bitch, which you are or a bad dude. You know what I mean? Like amazing. Right. Obviously like bad. I mean, like it's good, but like you're, you like you, 
don't fuck with me. It's almost like, too, this is interesting, too, because I feel like whoever you are, you're the type of person where it's like, your ancestors are kind of like, you don't fuck with them. You know what I mean? But it's almost like, this is interesting. This is a beautiful message. This makes sense. It's almost like your ancestors have always had your back so far. It's like somebody just, like, floats above Somebody just floats above life. It, it's just like, I don't know. It's like, they just, it's like I'm seeing somebody just kind of like flowing and just like always uh, like, um, like never having to be present during any t sort of like karmic attacks or like psychic vampire attacks or anything like that. Because it's like your ancestors and your guides are just like, are like there before you even, you know what I mean? Like you don't even know what's going on because that's how protected you are. But it was almost like, it's almost like somebody, this is interesting and I, and I hope that I say this right, so just take what resonates because I might not say it correctly, like the verbiage. There's a lot of different ways it's trying to be explained in my head. But, like, it's almost like somebody um, was like, wait a second, spirit. Am I really being attacked? Because I don't feel it. And it's like, spirit was like, yes. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> We're going to keep you protected through this, but look, observe. It's almost like, yeah, it's, I'm hearing like rose colored glasses. It's almost like somebody had like rose colored glasses and it's almost like spirit. You didn't really need to like see whatever or experience whatever it is that you saw. Now this, this is kind of walking a line that I don't really feel very comfortable walking, but it's like, it's almost like you, because I'm hearing also, I'm seeing some very, very malicious and very bad things, but I feel like you were very protected through it. Now I'm also hearing, and this is a very different, this is very different from trauma too, because I'm hearing that somebody has also gone through some sort of trauma and that was not, that was not divinely orchestrated. Okay. That was not supposed to happen and that was not okay. But somebody healed after whatever trauma that was and, and they found their heart again. They found their God again. And that may have even, that, that brought them a lot of strength. Whoever you are, that brought you a lot of strength. And it's, and now you for sure are a force to be reckoned with. But I'm also hearing, and this, this could also be the same person. You guys remember that all of my, my readings are general readings. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. All my readings are timeless too. So if you, if this one doesn't, you know, whenever you see it, you see it, if this one doesn't resonate, you know, go through some of my other readings too, like one of those or a few of those might also resonate, okay? But, um, it's like, yeah, it's like somebody, I don't know how to say it, somebody glowed up. Like you, you, and you're witnessing, you are seeing the world in a very grounded way and a very grounded and objective way. It's like your guides wanted you to know that you were protected your entire life and then they kind of just like... What I'm seeing, it's like, I'm seeing like the Wizard of Oz, you know, when he kind of like comes, when they, when they pull the, the, what is it, the fucking curtain, right? To go see like the Wizard of Oz. It's kind of like that. It's like, it's like now you're seeing the mechanics of the machine. Yeah, you're seeing the machine. What else, spirit? Ancestor of the highest white light. So you're fucking smart. It's like, you're really smart. You're protected. You know you're protected and you see it. Like, you see it. Yeah, a lot of people really misjudged you. This karmic energy, they really misjudged you. They tried to surround you with illusions. Mm -hmm. You stayed emotionally grounded throughout the whole entire thing. You were very um, fair to yourself, too, I'm hearing. This was a huge lesson for some of you that you needed to have more compassion for yourself than you have for other people. Compassion is incomplete if it does not include oneself. It's almost like, also like you've been so protected your whole entire life by your ancestors. It's almost like, and I also feel like you're, you're so connected to your ancestors. Like you don't even realize that you've been through so much. Like, cause you're just, you listen to your guides. I'm also hearing eight of wands here. Yeah. Movement, big time movement, big movement, man. That's Yeah. Time to ground. Time to get emotionally grounded again. I just saw the Ace of Cups in the reverse position. So also I feel like maybe somebody's not drinking enough water and somebody needs to not drink alcohol. No alcohol, okay? Like, yeah, I'm hearing like no. I'm actually seeing like clear liquids. Like, so no, no alcohol. Um, but also you might be feeling a little emotionally like you might want to get your... Um, um, it's time to ground back into yourself is what I'm hearing. Okay. Cause I feel like whoever you are, you're also very empathic and I feel like you've been feeling a lot of other people's energies. And that's also, I feel like you are grounding back into your center after, after this as well. So 
yeah, I love this reading. This was a beautiful fucking reading. Y'all are amazing. Um, I hope that you're doing amazing and um thank you so much for being here don't forget to like and subscribe i hope that this resonates you know what i mean and um you know just take take whatever does and what doesn't but make sure that you're drinking a lot of water okay i'm hearing that like this is the season um but somebody in electrolytes also i'm hearing um yeah coconut water and or you know i just went to the dollar tree i have been loving the dollar tree lately you guys um but I have been going to the Dollar Tree, and they have these really delicious little, uh, like, electrolyte packets. I think they come in, like, a pack of six, and they're, like, watermelon-flavored. Really yummy. So, um, and it really, for me, like, I can tell when I do not have enough electrolytes in my body. I can tell when I don't have iron. I can tell when I don't have B12. I can tell when I don't have D. I don't have, you know what I mean? Like, I can tell when I don't have all of that. So, it really, it does something, you know? I solder, right? I solder all of my jewelry, you guys. I don't know. Most of you have probably already seen my website right now. It's under construction. But, like, I solder a lot of jewelry, so I sweat a lot when I'm soldering and doing a lot of the metal work and stuff like that. So, like, electrolytes are important. Um, But, yeah, Dollar Tree and coconut water or, or just make sure that you're drinking water. Like, more water than you even think you need i'm hearing like somebody is forgetting to drink water okay all right sending you guys so much love uh stay hydrated don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time bye